what's going on. You Why? don't get out, you're about that's to get okay. ripped out of the car. Let me go. No. Why are you punching me in my face? <laughs> Uh, we got snipe, uh, the bookers. Yeah, we have to make sure that if we're not, we don't have anything. It's on the porch still. He didn't pick up the package. If you don't slow down and do right, God gonna get you, man. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story features the Summersville Police Department. On August 20th of 2020, the department attempted what's called a controlled delivery at a residence that Mr. Timmy Miles was seen visiting. The package is either delivered by the department or is known to contain contraband. The idea is that they watch the package, knowing what's inside of it, and whoever receives it gets arrested. But before we get into the interaction, I want to tell you about the last wallet you'll ever buy. Exter has reimagined the traditional wallet, making it easier to use and harder to lose by bringing together the luxury of classic leather and the invention of slim technologies. But what does that mean exactly? First off, Exter wallets are a sleek, minimalist design made with high quality leather that holds up to 12 cards and cash available with the click of a button. As far as the tech side of it, Exter wallets have built in RFID protection to block wireless theft. But the coolest addition is the solar-powered tracking device that uses a two-way ring system to deliver separation alerts and track the wallet's location. Simply charge it by leaving it in the sun for two hours, and it works for three months. I actually got my first extra wallet over a year ago, and its presentation always sparks conversation. But I just upgraded to their new modular bifold. It has a removable magnetic card holder, so if you don't need all this extra stuff, remove it and take what you need. Their Father's Day sale is live with the release of this video, and you can save 20 to 30% on your order, or if you use my link, you save 25% on all orders, or 35% off orders over $150. They make a perfect gift or a perfect wallet for yourself. So use my link in the description or pinned comment and get your extra wallet today. And now back to the video where the Summersville Police Department has delivered a package and are now watching from a distance to see who picks it up and brings it inside. If someone does, they can make entry into the residence and arrest someone for receiving the delivery. But while observing the home, the officers lost sight of the package around the same time that Mr. Timothy Miles left the residence. Officer Robert Baranu and several others followed the man and shortly after initiated a traffic stop. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. uh -uh. I know what you picked up. I know what you picked up over there, okay? What I picked up? Yeah. I yeah. Don't want well, to you, for come on. Get out of the car. What, what, no, I ain't getting out the car till y'all tell me what's going on. We're now. about to tell you what's going on. Come on no, out. No, bro. Yeah. What, what, what's going on? All right, let me record this. Y'all okay. got y'all. What, what, what y'all got y'all? Yeah, we're recording right now, so come on out. What's going on? We got the car. Yeah, come on out. Come on out. Oh, no, no, no. Don't grab me. Don't grab me. One of the officers says, We know what you picked up back there. However, Timmy had no idea about the package as it wasn't his residence and wasn't expecting a delivery. In fact, at this point in time, the package was still at the residence the cops left it at. The officer then asks Timmy to exit his vehicle, and then they'll tell him why they pulled him over. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court case of Pennsylvania v. Mims recognizes the cop's authority to demand the driver exit his vehicle if lawfully pulled over, but it would have been very simple for the officers to tell the driver why they pulled him over, but they didn't. Instead, Officer Robert Bernu decides to initiate violence to remove him. Uh, well, we're telling you, giving you a lawful order. If you don't why? get out, you're about That's to get okay. ripped out of the car. Well, go ahead. So don't. I got a back problem. Don't rip me out. I'm of the not car. trying to do that. So well, come, on on, come on out. Come on out. We'll car. explain we're it to you. We're gonna tell you, dude. Come on, step out of the car. If, if let me go. No, I'm not letting you go. Bro, let uh, me this go. This is your last bro. chance, man. No. You're, get the I'll, out. Officer Bernu first grabs Timmy's arm, then pulls him by the neck, choking him. Officer Baranu now punches Timmy repeatedly in the face. During the struggle, his body cam falls to the ground. Why are you punch me in my face? I don't know what's going on. What's going on? I just left my baby, my grandson's house. What's going on? Somebody punched me in my face. Hey, bro. Oh, Johnny, what's going on? What's going on? Who punched me in my face? Who punched me in my 
He was wrapping up, so he gave the nose thing. Afterward, Officer Baranu describes that Timmy was wrapping up on the steering wheel, so he quote, did the nose thing. It is likely that he is referring to a pain compliance technique in which an officer will push their knuckle or a firm object onto the bridge of a victim's nose to cause suffering and force them to obey. It often does not leave marks or serious damage. However, that is not what Officer Baranu did. Officer Baranu punched Timmy repeatedly while choking choking him, causing a small cut under his eye. One of the officers mentions going back to the house to look for the package they planted. At the house? Yeah, we need to go there now. The officers say they need to go back to the house as fast as possible to make sure, otherwise they don't have anything, meaning they'd have no reason to pull Timmy out of his car, let alone pull him over. Yeah, we have to make sure if we're not, we don't have anything. The aggressing officer then mentions that the watch team lost sight of the package, which is what prompted the traffic stop, but Timmy was never in position possession of the box in question, and the officers never saw him pick it up. They merely lost track of it. They lost sight of the box, and this car left, we stopped it, he didn't want to get out. We had to extract him, it's not there. Yeah, yep. Uh, we got sni uh, the lookers. Soon after, it is reported that the box was seen still sitting on the porch where the officers left it. At this point, they informed Timmy that he's going to be charged with resisting, even though they now have no probable cause to hold him, as their controlled delivery package is still right where they left it. Still on the porch. Naz. Naz. Resisting. It's on the porch still. Hey. Black male has a hand on the package. He's been pacing around. He's been pacing around? Okay, but um, it has to... Um, Somebody's got to grab it and bring it in. Yeah, ask, ask Jamie uh, if that's good enough for us to go in. And, uh, well, somebody has to grab it. Somebody has to take possession of it. Let me call, um... Dude, there, he was getting all locked up, so... Just uh, deal with him, we'll probably just get, I mean, again, we have... Well, we might... Right. So just um, make sure he's okay when EMS is here, I'm okay. To add insult to injury, the officers call for a canine to bypass Timmy's Fourth Amendment rights and secure the authority to search his vehicle to see if they can find something illegal and make their battery on the man acceptable in the court's eyes. We'll get a dog, get a dog, because right now he's going to say no. I mean, we'll, he didn't pick up the package. So let's get a dog, make sure there's follow-up calls when we search the car. I mean, I already pumped the trunk for safety, but... I'll get 8-7 in route. Yeah. Timmy now addresses his batterer to tell him how brave he is. Hey, you, hey, you brave, you brave cat. With all this shit on, you real brave to be punching on choking people and shit, man. You wrong. Who tell you something? And mark my word. If you don't stop, God gonna get you, bruh. I'm for real now. If you don't slow down and do right, God gonna get you, man. I'm for real, bruh. I don't care how much hatred you have against me. You hate him. When you hate me, you hate God too, bruh. I'm telling you now. We, we might be different, but deep down inside, we the same motherfucking color flipping. For real, I don't care what going on or what you think of conspiracy, my nigga. On, on some real, you had no business choking and pulling on me like that. I would have complied only if you'd have let me know what the f was going on. I come out my yard, everybody swarming me and punching me and throwing me on the ground. That's ruthless, that's thuggish. And y'all called us mother up. You had no business choking me, bruh. That brought back a lot of flashbacks, bruh. You going down for that one, for real? On everything, you going down. If it take my life, you going down. For choking me, you going down. I'm not threatening you, but God's gonna get you, bro. For real, you ain't had to put your hand on my head. Nearly 25 minutes into the stop, a canine arrives and a free air sniff is conducted on Timmy's vehicle. Despite some reports claiming that some canines have an 80% chance of hitting on a vehicle incorrectly, the dog finds nothing. About five minutes later, they finally call for an ambulance, though Timmy requested one after he was extracted. Yeah, yeah. No. No? Alright. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
showed me that it showed the slight. I kind of tried to side, but when I went back by, it wasn't showing it again. So. Okay. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. At this point in the video, it seems only right that the officers offer Timmy an apology, a card to internal affairs and a good civil rights lawyer, and let him leave. Instead, they call their other team and find out the controlled delivery package was reclaimed by the police, terminating their operation. Hey, were y'all able to secure the box? Hey, they secured the box. Huh? They secured it. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're gonna get out the box, we're gonna go and search this. And anything else we find here. Despite the complete lack of reasonable articulable suspicion, probable cause, a negative hit from a canine, and Timmy's denial to allow them to search, they search his vehicle anyway, which allegedly produced an empty bag that smelled like marijuana. I was unable to find any information on whether Timmy was actually charged. However, Officer Bernu was terminated by the Somerville Police Department a little over a week after this incident, after a complaint was filed and the footage was reviewed. The Somerville Police Department then then asked the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division to investigate the incident and the officer was charged with third degree assault and battery. I've been watching this incident for a while and on Pacer, I can't find anything about a civil suit. It will likely be filed around the two year anniversary of this event in late August of 2022. I'll be sure to update you on it if they file a civil complaint. In the end, the government threatens force against you if you fail to pay your taxes. Then they use the money to hire these men who will use force against you if you ingest a plant or accept a package that they delivered to your door. But if they use too much force against you on camera, they will take money from your neighbors through threats of force and give it to you to apologize for what they've done. Does any of this make sense? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Another big thanks to Exter for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out their wallets and other goods by clicking my link in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Blackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.